Welcome to TradingDI.com. This is John. This report is for the 22nd. Well, we had our defining lines. What was interesting is this day started out with the Magenta MBI moving up, and it's something we talked about uh, where they meet, and if there's a rejection, uh, the likelihood of a uh, significant move to the upside, real. And once we got above the 61% uh, line, which at that point, uh, the other day, let's take a look, was at um, 45.61, and literally we opened at 67, so we're already above it, and it also started to rise up to 78, so once that got cleared, it just kept hurdle after hurdle, and boom, and that was mostly pre-market open, but we did fill back into a lot of it uh, before, finally, once that uh, 46.13, which was the previous uh, algo level that we had marked, once it was broken, you know, it was straight off to the races. Um, not a coincidence from a Dow standpoint, literally on our same algo at 34.8. Supported right off that and boom, jumped. So, algorithms, and, and it's a popular spot because it's exactly where institutions have it right, up right there. And again, and it gets to be extreme. The problem with that is, is it, it becomes too quick, too fast. And they literally need uh, more time in the back of the situation to uh, acquire uh, more of what they need, unless it's just buybacks, in which case uh, they'll take anything they can get um, in order to support price to prevent things from breaking down. So that will be the interesting test going forward. From an NQ standpoint, again, 50% started to rise, opened right on that, and boom, all the way up above the uh, 61%. So. Clean action, a um, little bit better uh, reading from the NASDAQ than we had from before. Uh, still uh, needs some help here with the DLC readings, but on the right track. Uh, gold didn't do anything uh, not really relevant at this particular stage as the back and forth of uh, year-end settlements and stuff really take precedent at this particular time. And again, Euro, zero flat. Uh, in fact, it's amazing that it's even held up as well as it has. Oil, bouncing back strong, and uh, if that continues to take off, that's going to be some beginning of the year downside from a Bitcoin standpoint early on. Buy setup started. And yeah, I took that uh, long setup from there, and then again, uh, the secondary breakout, and uh, added one right here at the end of this one. That could be a little bit of weakness uh, that was posted right there at 76%, but uh, Magenta still leading. So, I mean, you see that steel coming from so far below, uh, and definitely uh, in cyan under red, uh, it's more bullish than not, which is exactly what this needed, because we talked about this uh, needed to get above that 48 um, and remain there, and that was uh, exactly what happened in ETH from the same standpoint. Uh, put in a series of positive extremes, um, going right back to there, filled in all the way to the second set of them, which was uh, right in this particular uh, dip point. So, still has that one to fill from the broader standpoint, but at least from the secondary third ones, which uh, usually are the primary ones to get filled after a bullish run, is where that took off. When we go to the 50K, so we had that beautiful basing setup that was taking place, and then we started to see rising DSC red with the shakeout, and uh, then it was just a matter of uh, on the peaks would we get a turnaround move, which literally that's what I look for when this breaks down, and there was no cross of red. Uh, it still kind of maintains bullish when it did it for just the one bar and flipped. It also had DSC green moving over cyan, cyan moving under red, all the reverse operations of a DSC spread to the downside, pushing to the upside, and that's exactly what it did, an expectation for 100% fulfilled. So spot on. From an intraday standpoint, not as much volume as you might expect given the size of the move. Um, we started off a lot of positive extremes, started marking those down because those would be the uh, primary ones and then the previous day going all the way down to the 57, didn't think that would fill unless it was a major 50k sell below the 50% level. Um, it didn't look like that was in the cards and marked it as we filled it, put it on this uh, Skype chat um, as the signal started coming in uh, for that setup and uh, sure enough it was nice and clean. And then again, this was an interesting one, the MBI white getting up there really strong peaking except for right as you would be thinking okay we're going to move back down the magenta popped above it and it didn't take long for that to uh, 
make another additional pivot with the um, white moving down, and that was the end of that. That just meant another rally setup. And uh, even if you missed that one, the secondary setup right there when there was no white crossing above red at all. Also had rising gold and started the positive extreme setup right there. 45.93, that was not going to be seen for the rest of the day. And you can see that momentum, and that's that rip your face off, just keeps going. Um, cyan under red the entire way. It really didn't require much bog at that particular point. It started getting a little more interesting. We ended up with this uh, white spike right up there. Um, in this particular case, I was waiting for uh, white to move above Mencenta simply because coming off that exacerbated uh, move above uh, 15 on the uh, Magenta shakeout there, I like to see a significant enough breakdown. All I was looking for was the move down towards this uh, positive stream that uh, started this secondary run, which was right about uh, this bar right here. And Kane filled that, and we were getting close to the end of the day, and the expectation would be for the end of the day to finish the highs. And that's exactly what it turned around to do. I posted that one. There was no shock with that move at all. Uh, kind of standardized move, so. All in all, pretty good stuff, uh, right in line with our expectations. So, um, you know, the this is what happens when you get a little bit more movement in there. You get these uh, violent runbacks. Now, the key on this setup, though, that we definitely want to be watching is, do we get back up to that 47, 43 range? Because if you don't, and we start making lower highs and then filling back into some of it, that's when it becomes interesting because um, at a certain point, some people will be like, uh, I'm not going to buy it until it proves that it can make uh, continued new highs. And, uh, as it's set up right now, double top, people will be starting to mark head and shoulders and all sorts of other uh, wild uh, things, but literally we're going to see it on our reading, so that will be the telltale sign for us. As always, though, I'll continue to post updates. Trade well. We'll talk to you later.